you're going to be great because we're all in this together. Um, we're all in this we, together. Yeah, we're going to tag team this. Um, so big, big thank you to Nix for presenting this night. If you're watching this on YouTube afterwards or on aspotlife.com, uh, Nix is helping to present this. We've got a very spooky week. Um, I'm in costume, Erica's in costume, and it's going to be delightful. Um, let's, let's talk to Nick from Nix, the real person, while we've got you. Um, because we're learning culturally uh, you're from Sweden, and Halloween is different there, yes? Yeah, ha Halloween is definitely different, or was different when I grew up in Sweden. My first memory is that I, I was probably five, and my parents told me we were going to go see Granddad. And I was like, Granddad is dead? So I, <laughs> I, I didn't know what I had in my mind, but you go to this gigantic yeah. cemetery, there's thousands of people out there. And there is absolutely no noise. This, this actually, you can, you can Google this place because it's in the world, uh, the list of protected uh, places. It has like hundreds of years, giant uh, fir trees and the landscaping is like unbelievable. It's, uh, it's, 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 you feel so small in there. And I'm there to see granddad and, and, and then of course he's dead. So we, we, all of a sudden we are at the grave and my mom starts crying and, uh, and it, you know, it's like, it's all the spooky stuff uh, this holiday, but there is no trick and treating. And normally our holidays are, are really fun. And we always do all of the, uh, all our holidays, we eat pickled herring and we drink schnapps and the grown ups get in a great mood. And, uh, and everybody is, is having a great time. Here, here's like, there's no, no trick or treating, no schnapps, uh, no pickled herring. Uh, mama is crying. And, uh, and uh, it's also the first weekend before the real winter. I mean, it's when the temperatures are dropped to zero Fahrenheit something or whatever it is. And it's super cold, it's super dark. Uh, there's no snow, so there's nothing to do. <laughs> And here, here's the really interesting part. Uh, it's it, Swedes, it's a weird mixture. Y you know, we, we stopped believing in God like 60 years ago. So we have socialism instead, but also some form of capitalism, socialism, and the church is still one of the richest organizations in Sweden. They own, they own like 10% of the land in Sweden. Nobody goes in church, but they are, stinking rich and it's 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 very weird how this mix kind of when you're six years old you don't really understand any of it and then a few years later people are thinking let's cheer up a little bit let's let's do it like the americans let's start this trick and treat thing and 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 then it gets even more complicated so so it's it's a little bit like uh it's it's i think we took the good stuff from you guys and and then the, some of the weird stuff is still there and i don't really know where i'm getting with this uh, thing it's just very very much how it was like for me and then of course all that crazy partying started with uh slutty police women slutty autumn mechanic everybody wearing weird stuff and uh, you know it's um so it basically turned into something similar except for that we actually go to the graves and say hello to grand and, and now they're all dead now and now dad is dead and it's only mom and i we go there and we say hello to everybody and but we're more relaxed about it now that, that, that's lots, my little take on it lots that, sounds terrible. that sounds terrifying yeah. <laughs> It's like the worst possible day. <laughs> Let's I really cry in traumatized as a kid. I if I'm with you that. <laughs> yeah, actually, 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 it was not the weekend I looked forward to because I thought it was creepy. And mom always yeah. started crying. We were, we, and we sometimes we didn't find the graves because there was snow on them, and you know we were, and there was there was thousand people roaming around in that cemetery trying to find graves, and everybody looked depressed. You know, th th this was scary for real. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you're in the U.S. You um, brought Nix to where, where you live now. You're in L.A. Um, and in the U.S. we can get Nix ice cream. We will be 
plating it up with some of our pumpkin cookies. But tell us again, uh, or tell me again, tell the folks on this on this Zoom why you started NYX. Oh, NYX was um, I was in bad shape actually. I mean, we in my family we're skinny, but we get diabetes very early. Uh, I, I I was skinny, and I had another problem also. I was taking painkillers for. Um, I, I, I done a lot, lot of athletics in my life and, and I, I just thought that this is what it's going to be like. My dad took mm-hmm. painkillers every day also uh, his whole life. And, and uh, then, then I started to treat the diabetes. I, I figured out that you could basically use a ketogenic diet, put my mom on it too. That was taking a lot of insulin at the time. She could quickly go down to half her dose with insulin and and my, all the measurements, I took a couple of thousand blood samples on myself at that time. It, it just got better and better the more I stayed out of the sugar and fast carbs. And guess what? The, the, um, uh, all the painkillers. I haven't taken a painkiller in five years. And then some remarkable things happened. I usually do this for fun. I don't know if you can see it. But <laughs> oh. Not too many guys in my age, all of a sudden, without even trying, because I was at the park and said, can you do this? And I was like, yeah. What's, yeah what, what's, and, and then I looked at all the other guys my age, and they, they, were, like, they were like here. So when you start yeah. eating healthy and living healthy, stuff happens and i think it's the anti-inflammatory part of a keto diet that's really really uh, giving you those health benefits i i feel so much better and if you throw in some intermittent fasting as well <laughs> but, but it's boring nobody wants to have a boring life so that's why i started making all these candy and stuff for my mom and um, because she's can candy holic and uh, and for myself too and and that was the start of it and now we are, I don't know how many people, and we have a couple of factories and, and um, science team and all that, and, and um, much smarter people than I am. Much, much smarter, like uh, Eric, Erica. Yeah. Anything more you want to know? I mean, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? The Halloween? I think we're in lockdown in LA. I, 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 I have some scary costumes back here in a pirate outfit with um but i i swedes like to do things a little bit over the top so my best one ever i i bought uh, one of these uh, dolls and i drilled the big rusty like five inch nail into the head of it and poured uh, um something like red paint over it and all that and then then people were uh, actually going to the other sidewalk when i can go in with that in my hand like this dingling it and oh my God. Uh, so may, maybe not that much this time. Maybe maybe a little bit uh, more. Uh, maybe I should uh, dress like a Swedish tennis player or something. Or you could dress like Erica and me. Uh, we're in our very run-of-the-mill bodysuits. She's dressed as Superman or woman, whatever you want to say. And I'm dressed as Bones, a skeleton. Yes. Uh, well, Nick, thank you so much for joining us. Should we kick off the cooking? Sounds Ooh. good to me. Thank you guys. It. All right. First things first, Dustin and I are going to kind of go back and forth on cooking. We'll give you a lot of direction along the way, but the very first thing that we need to do is preheat your oven um, to 375 degrees. And that's so that we don't forget it. Uh, so 375, if you're outside of the U.S., you know, Celsius, whatever. <laughs> We're going to preheat the oven and then we'll cut up our onions. Onions. Dustin, do you want to be spotlighted? Do I want to be spotlighted? I'm going to spotlight you. Okay, guys. Uh Um, You know, always when I, you know, cut my onions, I like to take my eyeballs out. No, it's a joke. Anyways, I was crying earlier. I cut them up just a little bit and I started crying, but I already diced mine up a little bit. Okay, fine. I'm Dustin, by the way, Dustin Kendrick. I don't know if you guys uh, know me or not. I live here in Chicago. Um, I do various things around here. I was on last season's of The Bachelorette with Hannah Brown. I was dumped and um, good things happened after that. So, <laughs> Dustin, do you watch, um, while I'm peeling and cutting my own onion here, Do you are you watching the current season? I am watching the current season, yeah. So, I have a lot uh, of questions. It, 
Yeah, let's ask the questions because, yeah, it's a, it's it's kind of weird, right? It's wild. And I think everyone's probably heard the spoilers too, so. Yeah, so yeah I'll save my questions the, then. What's the questions? Oh my God. Well, I feel like, well, first of all, I'm, I'm dicing up my onion. So if you're following along at home, dice yours up too. Um, I don't even know where to start with questions. First of all, would you go during COVID still? Would you have gone? Oh man. Um, I don't know, actually. Um, yeah, I would have gone because honestly, there was so? nothing else. To, there's nothing else to do. So <laughs> yeah, you might as well. But I did hear it was hell for them to do that. Like you, yeah. they went the first time. They had to come back, and then they oh my God. sent them back over there, and they had to quarantine for 14 days. So when you do the bachelor bachelorette, when you first get there, you have to. You're in your hotel room for five days. You can't leave. You're stuck in there. They might take Wait. you out to go work out. Yeah, this is like normal. So I was in my hotel for five days without a phone, without any internet, a computer. God. The only thing I had was a TV and I was going crazy. So I can't imagine how these guys felt staying two weeks in a, in a, in a hotel by yourself. It's insane. I know. I, I don't, Okay, so after the onion, we're going to move on to our squash, whatever your squash is. Um, I have, so I have a second camera. I'll show you guys over here. Uh, ooh, look at that. Okay, so this is my second camera. So if you want to watch me cutting, really you can. Uh, you <laughs> it does kind of look inappropriate. I'll pick it up. It's you definitely again. inappropriate. I had to bring it up with the perverted mind. Mind. mind out of the gutter. Um, <laughs> so with most of the gourds you want to get the top cut off i i learned this on the internet like most of the things that i have learned and also from a few of my favorite chefs and that i usually go top off first and then split down the middle um wait i'll spotlight this guy so you can see it you cool with me spotlighting my my gourd dustin kendrick what's up Cool with me spotlighting my gourd. Yeah, absolutely. Take a spotlight. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, so then once once it's cut in half, and this can work for like an actual pumpkin too. You'll do the same thing. You'll cut the top off, cut it in half. Like this guy's too small. He's just for decoration. Um, you're gonna want to get the skin off because it's a little too tough, in my opinion. I almost just cut my finger, which I do not want to do. So I'm gonna pay attention to the gourd. And I, say, I save all of my scraps and make my own veggie broth because it's a weird time to be a human. <laughs> what else? Would it, be weird? would it be weird to put the seeds in there? Yes, it would be weird. Let me tell you why. Uh, because it's kind of stringy. And so mm. you'll get, you'll get like that. I mean, I'm going to give you a direct answer here. <laughs> okay. It'd be a little weird. If you want to try it, you can, but I think what'll happen is you'll end up with a mouthful of fiber. Fiber. Seeds. Yeah. Which is not as cool as you want. Unless you need fiber Dustin, in your diet. That's true. Um, so Dustin, your first time making chili, do you have high expectations or low expectations? I have no high expectations at all. I Zero just hope expectations? I just hope after I cook this, I don't get sick. <laughs> Why would you get sick? <laughs> this is my first time making chili, you know? I oh, just hope I don't, it. yeah. I'm excited though. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, so once you get this, myself. you won't poison yourself. Plus we're doing veggie, so it's a little safer anyway. That is true. This is tough to get it out. I know, let me see yours. No, not yet. I'm trying to <laughs> okay. dig it out from the center. Oh, the seeds? Well, I already, I already digged out the seeds, but I'm trying to, like, scoop this out, and I was going to chop this up into a... Uh... Excellent. We're going to go cubes next, so you're a step ahead of me. Okay, so so you're watching the season. You had to, you had to basically quarantine for five days anyway during yeah, your season. I did, yeah, yeah. Oh man. It was terrible. I don't know. It was I would terrible. go crazy. 
And so the guys on this season were alone for how long? Like two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah. Insane. Ugh. Did they let them keep their phone at least this time? Because I feel like they were recording videos on their phones. Um, no, I doubt it. What they do when they record videos, they either gave them um, – they probably came in there, the producers, and gave them yeah. their phone to do that, or the producer's phones. Then they took it back. Oof. Lock and key, man. The highest okay, so people go to- through is fall in love. I know. <laughs> the fall in love. But we're, we're all here for the right reasons tonight. So. Oh, for sure. For sure. Education, uh, some ice cream. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I really wanted to slip here for the right reasons in. That was mostly for Erica because she's a big fan. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gina. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> We're all, all here for the right reasons. I honestly wait for people. To, okay, can I tell you something, Dustin? I don't want you to be offended. I don't think it'll offend you, but I just want to preface it. I but, think, and I've told you this before, I think The Bachelor and Bachelorette are like I like them and I'm entertained by them but I also think they're funny you find them funny when you're watching them or like some parts of them I find it so funny everything about the show is funny (laughs) okay that makes me and in paradise funny I I was supposed to do paradise this summer oh that would have been so fun to watch (laughs) We could, have been, yeah, we could have been talking about that right now. I know. We'd probably, okay. we'd probably get dumped. Uh, well, I mean, that's basically your your highest probability of what's going to happen is you're going to get dumped in life and in relationships. Okay, so what I just did is I spooned out the, scooped out the seeds from the gourd. It's basically my last step. I took off the skin and the top um, and now the seeds are out. My husband's hiding from me. He's in another room. Like, when can I come out? <laughs> and, then, and then once the seeds are out of this thing, we are going to cube it up. We're close to starting our cooking. Once we kind of get the veggies chopped like this, our gourd, our onion, and our last fresh sang, which is our red bell pepper, um, we can start cooking, which is fun. It's, it's, chili is, I think, in the world of food, one of the, the easiest things to make and the least challenging to screw up. Like you, no, I'm saying that wrong, but you know what I'm saying. Like, it's very hard to screw up. Don't too soon. Just keep it too soon. Don't you're not going to screw it up. And you can kind of like, based on preferences, once you make it. Okay, so what I'm going to do from here is this part, this rounder part of my butternut squash, I'm going to cut it off so that I have the top to work with, which is a little more solid. And I'll cut them differently. Um, Anybody at home having trouble with their gourds, let us know. This is a silly shape. It is a silly shape for a gourd. I agree. Um, Dustin, okay, Dustin, do you want to tell them about your apron while I cube this up? What does it have to do with? And and what's what's your YouTube thing? Yeah, so um, earlier in the year before COVID happened, um, so I've been in the restaurant, um, hospitality industry for about five years and in my hometown, um, very small country. Um, if you went out to dinner to a nice restaurant, you went out to Red Lobster and it was like a good, like it was for a good occasion or something, you know? So I never really saw how chefs work in action until I moved to Chicago and working in the food industry. I fell in love with the art of a chef here in Chicago. And so um, after I did The Bachelorette, I, you know, I gained a little bit of a following. I wanted to do something to um, showcase a lot of chefs in Chicago. So I started this uh, cooking show called Herd Chef, which is kitchen legal, if you're not familiar. If the, chef's te- if, the, blah, blah, blah. if the chef tells you to do something, you reply back, Herd, Herd Chef. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so in Chicago, I go around and creative up and coming chefs, they teach me a dish that they would like to, um, that they would like to show me. And uh, we just get to know each other. We engage, it brings people um, to know a chef on a more personal level. And it's just a good time, it's relaxed. I have uh, three episodes out right now on YouTube, if you haven't seen them yet. 
it gets kind of it gets kind of raunchy in times with conversations, but it's a good time. Well, I mean, you're actually, talking to you're talking to chefs. <laughs> yeah, and I got a, actually a tattoo on the first episode. I won't tell you how I got that, but uh, definitely check it out. It's interesting. You got a tattoo on the first episode. Okay, so watch the first episode. What's your favorite thing you've made so far? You've made like some pastas. Made pasta, steak. Um, we've made a catfish. We've made, we had a chef that actually infused um, marijuana into an octopus. And uh, what's that? Interesting. Yeah, um, it was really good. And um, what else have we had? We've had shrimp fried rice and uh, and some red snapper and a breakfast. Yeah, this recent one we just posted was a breakfast brunch. Um, so yeah, my favorite thing yeah. would probably, I don't know, it's hard to say. They're so good, I don't know. They're all so good, I can't pick one. What's one thing you don't know how to cook that you wanna learn? I don't think I don't know how to cook. I would say making the pasta that we did I want to learn how to, I want to continue to learn how to make pasta from scratch. I think that is, um, I don't know, it's something about making pasta from scratch that's so just, I don't know, it's sexy, it's fun, it's entertaining. It, 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 I don't know, it brings, I mean, if you do it, you could do it with someone. So um, I definitely want to learn more about making pasta from scratch. A date night activity. That would be a great date night. And if you're like yeah. trying to impress someone and you make some homemade, Pasta, like, come on now, they're gonna fall in love with you, right? Yeah, <laughs> and it's not that hard. Yeah, from yeah, from what I've done, it hasn't seemed that hard, but yeah, I don't know if I'm ready to do it on my own just yet. Okay, all right, so we're almost done with our gourds. Nick, as we were finding out in the comments here, Nick has never seen a gourd in his life. Um, Nick of Nick's, this is your first gourd impression. You get the first. Gourd impression rose here, Nick. I'm gonna, I've got out a... and bought seeds because I thought that it was just to water them and they would come up as great and nice pumpkins. Never happened for me in my <laughs> garden here. I thought everything was growing in the US. You just put in some seeds, put in some radishes. They became like a one and a half pound big radishes. I mean, it's, I've never seen anything like that before. It was, it, it's weird stuff in my garden. Let's say I'm not. I'm, I'm not much of a gardener. Oh man. Well, it sounds like you have a garden. Yeah, I have a garden. It's, uh, I'm better at, at doing irrigation and stuff like that than uh, pulling pipes and things. Yeah. I am excited to hear what you learn though. Okay. Dustin, are you done with your gourd? Uh, almost. Okay, cool. Are we um, is, no, no, no. We're doing great. We're good on time. Let's hear it from the comments. Um, Noel, acorn squash is very hard to peel because of all of the, in here, you're right. Acorn squash is super hard to peel. I was gonna recommend that you maybe roast it first next time, but also you can, depending on how big or small the acorn squash is, you can sometimes eat the skin. Not I'm just terrible. using, so I'm actually just cutting the inside out. Do it. That's one way I'm not to do really it. Peeling the I hope, I mean, I might be a little wasteful. Do your thing. Okay. Do your thing. Okay. Let's, okay. Okay. We got, we got a couple minutes here. Um, and if you have any questions while we are finishing our gourds. Yeah, I hope some people have questions. What's the questions from everybody? Anyone have any questions about anything? Let's well, talk about, questions anything, about gourds. anything but politics, please. I mean, yeah. <laughs> anything but politics. I think that's, that is a sentiment we all can agree to. Uh, Tina, how did you guys decide on this recipe to make? Besides, oh, yeah. very fall is there any special reasoning behind this specific chili? That is a great question. Thank you very much for asking. Um, I think that we, so Dustin and I were picking the menu um, and we wanted it to be fall one mm -hmm. we wanted it to be and tell me if i misremember anything dustin um oh, we wanted it okay good, doing great we wanted it to be pumpkin-y not mm -hmm. necessarily i mean this recipe you can use pumpkin or squash or anything and then we also wanted it to be something that you can kind of make your own which this definitely is 
So you'll see on the recipe, it, you can, we're going to talk through it, but you can use like one or two cans of black beans. You can use, uh, you can use more red pepper if you want to. It's really kind of up to you. Um, up and to then you. The, it is up to you. And I think that's the thing I, I've learned to love through cooking during COVID is that it really is um, something that you can kind of make your own if you're doing it right. All right, we're doing a good job here. We do want to get, we got about, I mean, on our timeline, we have like three minutes until we need to get this onion in the pot. So we're doing great. Um, okay. I'm going to start cutting the red pepper um, okay. and while, while Dustin finishes his gourd, which I think is great. So I'm going to spotlight my, my cutting board here. Red peppers, yeah. I think, in my opinion, are one of the easiest and most fun things to cook ever because you've got a guide. Um, if you already know this, you know, just tune me out. So you've got this little stem right here. And what I like to do is go make it a square. That is honestly my favorite thing to do with any vegetable or fruit. Like if you can make it a square, one, it's safer to cut. So you're not going to cut yourself. And two, uh, it just makes sense. <laughs> but I like math and geometry. So um, that will always be true. And then this fun part, if you want, you can kind of cut the little parts off and eat it. But I like to save it for veggie stock. You see, I have a little like stock bowl, which I'll make into stock after this. Um, so from there, we're gonna do, um, oh, we got sweet potato. <laughs> we're gonna do uh, just squares um, of this. So like a nice half inch or inch um, dice or cube. Um, I like to put things in prep bowls because I like to know where they are and dump them in, but it makes for a lot of dishes. <laughs> so um, if you don't like to do dishes, but who does, um, don't use prep bowls like I do. Okay, Dustin, how's your gourd? I'm getting there. I'm just a little slower, just how I am in life, a little behind, but I'll be there in no time. <laughs> That's cool. We'll wait for you. Wait for you. Um, Okay, so Dustin, you met some great friends on The Bachelorette on Hannah's season. Yeah. Um, talk us through kind of what has come of those friendships after your season. What's come of those friendships? Um, yeah, like who are you friends with? What are you guys doing together? Yeah, my closest guy friends are probably um, Peter, which he was last season, The Bachelor, um, Mike Johnson, and also Tyler. Um, actually, I saw Peter and Tyler um, just last month. I went to um, LA and hung out with them for a little bit. But we're um, talking about I, the original Tyler C, by the way. Yeah, Tyler C. And uh, yeah, it's crazy because when you're on the show, you you are blocked out of all entertainment, yep. and you're kind of forced to like get to know everybody which is a great thing, you know? Um, so like most of the guys I roomed with and uh, were my roommates were Tyler, Peter, and Mike, which so happened to be the most famous guys. It's crazy. Um, you got lucky. I got, I, got, I got left out on the fan though. What happened? No, <laughs> <laughs> I was there for the right reasons. But um, yeah, you know, a lot of them are doing great. They're doing great things right now and we still keep in touch. We still call each other. Um, Peter's in and out of Chicago here and there because he's dating Kelly. And um, yeah, it's just, it's crazy how a friendship could come out of that. Like, I didn't really expect that. Um, but like some of these guys, I probably have talked to them uh, about more things than like my closest friends in real life. So I definitely see them as um, close friends for sure. They're your bros. My bros. Your bros. All right. And I'm going to... You met Tyler, right? Last year? Yeah, with you. Yes. Um, we did yeah. a run for the bathroom. I feel like Dustin, I'm lucky enough to actually get to work with Dustin here and there. So at this point, we're, I would say, we're like bros at this point. Oh, we're definitely bros. We're sure. bros. Um, I'm going to spotlight my other angle here because here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to heat our cooking oil. I'm going to use coconut oil. You can use your preferred oil. Um, we're going to go a little higher heat, so maybe avoid olive oil. Um, you might you might get a little smoke if you use it, but it's okay if you do. You can use like butter or ghee too, but I'm going coconut oil today. You want to go um, medium high-ish heat. What we're doing first is heating up the oil and getting our 
our onions kind of translucent. Um, so this is where it gets, because it's chilly, this is where it gets kind of like wavy <laughs> in our measurements. You're gonna just coat the pan here um, with your cooking oil. So it's not, not like tablespoons or exact measurements. Um, it's more about just making sure that the pan has enough oil um, so that your onions don't stick to it. Okay, I'm gonna mute my friend who is off mute. I think it's my fault. <sighs> did it, nailed it. <laughs> Quick question, did you dice up your peppers? I sure did. You wanna see them? Can I see them real quick? Yeah. Yeah. So they're gonna be like half an inch diced here. Half an inch, okay. Yeah. Perfect. And you're, right now you're, you're uh, warming up your pan, you said? Yep, I'm warming up my pot. Got oil in it. Um, and we're gonna do oh, pots. Okay. Yeah. So you because now we're going like we're making chili. <laughs> we're we're gonna fill this pot up with stuff. So it starts with like the onion and our veggies, and then once once those things get kind of cooked, that's when we add our our beans and tomatoes. So it's it's the fun it's the fun time. So once we see for coconut oil, like once it's more of a liquid, which you can see here, it kind of is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and and add my onions. Um, and there is literally nothing better in the world than onions cooking, in my opinion. <laughs> Cutting onions. Um, oh, Ava, do you like the angle? <laughs> do you like the angle? <laughs> I hope you do. We're trying our best to make sure you can see everything. Okay, good. Are you keeping you seeds in there? I, I ditched the seeds. Um, from the red pepper, but it's not gonna hurt you if you eat some red pepper seeds. If you- I like a little spice. Okay. <laughs> these, these are pretty, ba these are mild. You're not gonna have a ton of spice, but okay. don't worry. You've got some jalapenos in there. Okay, so those are for later. Now we're talking so I'm just. <laughs> my God, I'm blushing. Okay, so I'm cooking. Cooking is, uh, I'm gonna keep talking while I cook here. Um, yeah. So that Dustin doesn't have an opportunity to make me blush again, but we're doing translucent. So we want them basically, like not quite brown, but see-through, like to the point where you can kind of see through them. It, it takes like a minute or two um, to let that happen. Wait, so, so time out, what did you put in the it pan, pot? What's in your pot? Oh, just onions for it. I put my cooking oil and heated it up. Uh, um, and then while, while that's cooking. Did you cook like a quarter of the onion, the whole onion, half the whole onion? whole damn thing. Shit. We're gonna have <laughs> half <laughs> Gotta move. Okay. So while that onion's cooking, we're gonna let it kind of sit there and sizzle. Huh? We're gonna want to get our garlic ready. Um, so this really depends on kind of your, your preference. The recipe calls for three cloves of garlic. I like a garlicky chili, so I'm going to use four, but it's up to you. Um, so I'm going to use a garlic press. Um, this guy here, I'll, I'll scoot you back so you can see my cutting board. I'm going to use a garlic press. Um, you can see my messy mise en place. Is there, no, Amanda, I agree with you. There is never too much garlic. So for me, um, I'm going to throw um, four garlic cloves in this bad boy. And I'm gonna use the press because it's just easy, man. Um, the only thing I really don't love about it is that I have to kind of like dig out the skin. So I end up with garlicky fingers, but whatever. It's not like anyone in the world sees me. <laughs> My husband loves me anyway. Um, Dustin, what's your, what's your garlic method? Do you squish and chop? By what method? Your garlic method. Are you a squisher and a chopper? For my garlic, I, I squash yeah. it. I squash. squash it. I know that's what I usually do, but I've been I've been going press these days. I actually I'm not very every show that I did with a uh, herd yeah. chef. Uh, I'm kind of terrified of using knives. I'm not good yet really? all the way, and I go so slow and I do it so weird. But yeah, I just yeah. rather squash it. I yeah. don't want to risk well, losing a finger. I, I, you know what, do what feels safer. And what's interesting too is 
you can be really good at knives, but once the camera's on you, forget it. <laughs> forget it. Oh. Okay, so our onions are translucent. That's great news. We want to add in um, our chili powder. Um, so we want to do two tablespoons of chili powder, which is a, like a good amount. But as you know, we can add more um, if we want it. So I'm, I'm going like whole foods, chili powder, whatever. Um, we can add more if we want it because it's, it's chili. Um, so we're going to our flavor here. I'm going to measure over the pot because I'm living on the edge here, you guys, and I don't want to miss our timer. But I would not recommend measuring over the pot. It's just asking for trouble. Um, if you love chipotle chilies, I think this recipe would be like really good with chipotle chili powder. It's just a different spice. Okay, so now the chili powder is coating the onions. How you doing, Dustin? Oh good. You're doing great. <laughs> I don't want to leave okay. you in the dust here. Are you, are your onions cooked? The onions are going right now. Nice. Okay, so once yeah. your onions are kind of see through, you add that chili powder. Okay. Oh, I got time then. They're not all the way there yet. I know. I agree. Whole Foods chili powder is great. Um, Rebecca, you got the great comments in here. Eva, more garlic, more. I totally agree. Okay, so after your onions are in there, your chili powder is in there, next step is your red bell pepper. So we've got like a whole red bell pepper. If you really love red bell peppers, you can add more. Um, I made a mistake and put red bell peppers and my gourd in one of my prep bowls here. So I'm gonna pick it out, whatever, it'll be fine. Um, I don't know about you guys, my kitchen is smelling so good. What's going on in, in Casa Kendrick? Well, Casa Kendrick's friend. It's going good, actually. I mean, the house is still up, so it hasn't burned down yet. Haven't burned it That's down yet. Process. Doing great. Okay. I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit if you want to do it too, because I know things are happening fast. So we got, I let one little piece of butternut squash fall in, but I think it'll be fine. Okay. So we've got our red bell peppers. We've got our onions, we've got our chili powder. Next thing in here is going to be a lot of stuff. We're going, um, I'll wait for Dustin to catch up because it's going to happen fast. It's basically everything else is next. I'll go, I'll turn it down. So you want to make sure that as you get ready for the next phase, you've got your pumpkin ready or whatever gourd you're using. I'm using a, it, it calls for three cups of squash. We're adding peppers, right? Yes, add those red peppers. Do it. Get it. Bam. Um, <laughs> I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Doing great. Um, and then next up is going to be a big, big What's next? Coffin. So I have next. onions. I got peppers. I got yes. the um, chili powder. Yes. You're doing great. Okay, so next? next up. We're going for it. It's gonna be our pumpkin, our garlic, our cumin, oregano, black beans, tomatoes, and veggie broth. So it's like, it's time to make soup. Um, did, you so already, make sure, did you guys already minute. get your garlic? No, that's next. Okay. okay. So let's do it one at a time. Why not? Sure, let's I'm add, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting out of, going ahead of myself. Are you, are you kidding me? No, you're doing great. Okay, so we've got our red pepper in, onions, and gar and chili powder. Let's go garlic next. We yeah. did the work. We chopped that, chopped that up. The garlic's in. The trick with garlic is you want to make sure you keep it moving, especially on higher heat. You do not want that to burn. Um, so once that garlic's in, like right away, add your pumpkin. Are you adding the whole garlic? Yes. I add it. So I went with four cloves. You can do like preference, do three to, you chopped it up though, right? I'm about to. Okay, good. You're going to do like three or four cloves. This is well, actually, I'm going to squash it. Smash okay, it. squash that. Squash that ish. Okay, so I've got my pumpkins in now. You do not have to try to get your pumpkin soft because that's going to happen once the 
froth is in. Um, so we have, Ava, that's okay if your kitchen's stinky. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, friend. Okay, so we wanna add our cumin. Cumin's coming up. I forgot to take my cumin out for my mise en place. I think cumin is probably my favorite seasoning in the world. And I have it somewhere. Cumin. There we go. All right. So cumin, same thing. You shouldn't uh, measure over the pot, but I'm going to because I'm living on the edge. And that's one and a half teaspoons uh, of cumin. I really like cumin, so I'm going to actually go two teaspoons. I just like the flavor, and I think it'll go well in this chili. Um, so do your thing. You like you like cumin, add it. I don't care. Um, and then we also want to add our oregano, which is about one tablespoon dried oregano. I'm I'm gonna go with that because I don't I don't need to mess with the with the recipe on the oregano. Okay, so meanwhile, how's everyone else doing? Talk to us. Is anyone else slow like me? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna clean up later too. I think lots of people cook at a different speed. So I'm gonna add my veggie broth next just cause I don't want my garlic to burn. And then I have time to drain my black beans. Okay, so we've got four cups of veggie broth. I pre-measured mine and I, I made it myself, you guys. That's a COVID thing. I think that'll go away. Okay, so we've got our broth in, we've got our cumin in, got our oregano in. Dustin, how you doing? I'm almost done with my garlic. Crushing it, literally. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure we get our chili prepped. Um, but I think we're doing great. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, okay, I'm gonna go whole, whole can of tomatoes, dice, fire roasted diced tomatoes. It is juices and all. This is the great thing about chili. Again, it's dump some cans of stuff. Um, and then, okay, so the recipe called for one can of black beans. I like my chili beanie. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna drain and do a little bit more. You do not want the juices from your black beans in the chili. No juices. I'm gonna show you guys the craziest contraption before I open my beans. So, have you seen a can opener like this before? I have not. It's wild. It's my favorite kitchen gadget. My mother-in-law picked it out and it has changed my life. <laughs> it's like very fast, but very difficult to figure out the first time I use it. Okay, guys, tell us what's going on. The can okay, so the can opener is from Kuhn Riken, K-U-H-N-R-I-K-O-N. It's a Swiss can opener. I think she got it at Crate and Barrel. Um, I'll show you. I'll find a link to it. Um, it is very wacky. All right, how much uh, cumin did you say again? All right, for our cumin, great question. I'm gonna look back at the recipe. Our cumin, we want one and a half teaspoons of cumin. Um, so for that, I went with two teaspoons because I love cumin. Heard that, Chef. I know. And we can do whatever we want because it's our chili. Okay. What was your favorite kitchen you worked in, Dustin? Did you work in a kitchen or were you front of house? Uh, we would go to a lot of the chef's homes. Um, but we did, we were lucky enough to um, have um, Boulder. Boulder, they sell like uh, kitchen supplies, um, kitchen, um, like stoves, vents, yeah. coolers. Um, they allowed us to use the prep um, event kitchen. 
That's awesome. Um, so we, we filmed a lot there. So um, yeah, they're very nice for Yeah. It's very nice. Um, after my, my cumins, what do I put in next? Ooh, did you get your oregano in there yet? My oregano, I did not. Okay, you want about one tablespoon of dried oregano. I stuck to the recipe on that one. If you really like oregano, you can go a little harder. Okay, so you'll notice I have I have everything in this recipe that's gonna sit for a while. It's gonna sit for like 20 minutes from here until how we will know it's done. Oh, thank you, Eva. Um, how we will know it's done is that the gourd, the pumpkin, the squash, whatever you're using is soft to a fork. So from this point forward, after you get your spices, your tomatoes, your beans in, the only real indicator of it being done because it's a veggie chili is that butternut squash. Um, so we get to kind of cover it and walk away from the chili. And I'm sorry, okay. um, oregano, how much again? Ooh. You're gonna do one tablespoon dried oregano. One tablespoon. While you're doing that, I'm gonna start to get ready for the cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can do what you gotta do. I'm just... Okay, guys. Okay, team. Mm -hmm. Oh, you found it. Oh my gosh, Eva. So great. So next up, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little clean up, a little rinse up. The cookies that we're making are pretty easy, quite honestly. Um, and we're probably going to go a little bit over, um, but it's going to be worth it. I can promise you that every second will be worth it. Um, because our cookies are, did you, Dustin, did you try the cookies I put in your bag? I haven't yet. Not yet. Oh, you're going to like them. <laughs> They're so good. They're so good. I thought about it, but I was like, ah, oh, I better save them. I better not. I know. I, well, I packed you. They're extra. So don't worry. You can eat them. Um, um Real quick, I'm sorry, because I'm slow. What nope, do I do next? Okay, so you added your oregano, you added your cumin. Did you put your, your gourd in? My gourd in. Yeah, oh, is your no, butternut squash right in now. there? Yeah, put yep. that in. Okay, cool. Gotta put your butternut squash in. I know, I know, Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin, I feel like we're gonna get kicked off of Chopped. <laughs> I hope not, but this chili will be done. We just have to make our cookies. We'll get them in the oven. We will get our cookie. Mark my words, we will get our cookies in the oven by 7 p.m. All right, okay. so that's in there. And beans, right? You're gonna put your beans in. I know you drained your beans beforehand. I did. So put your beans in and your fire roasted tomatoes, one can. Oh, cool. And then your veggie broth. So you have the recipe calls for four cups of veggie broth and you have just like one of those boxes of veggie broth. So you can just dump the whole thing in Dustin. Okay. Okay. Chili's cooking. I'm gonna put it down here. So that's everything. So cover that pot Dustin and just let it simmer. So to put the heat down, turn the heat down, let it simmer. Okay. Okay, cool. So everybody's chili is cooking. Let's cook some cookies. All right. Um, so the first thing for these cookies that we're gonna do is, um, we our oven's preheated, we're doing great. Uh, we wanna get our baking sheets ready. These cookies make enough for like two dozen-ish. So I'm gonna use two baking sheets like this. I'll show you guys what a quick prep of the baking sheet will look like. I have a stick of butter out because that's my next step. Um, I'm going to use a similar like oil it down method uh, for this that I used for the pot. Um, are you with me, Dustin? Um, what's that? I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to do our cooking, our cookie sheets. Okay, gotcha. You can go ahead if you, I'll just catch up too. Love it. Okay. So my cookie sheet method is the the paper towel oil. I just take like a little glob of my preferred cooking oil, which is coconut oil, or at least today it is, because <laughs> it's what I have. And then I'm just gonna uh, make sure that it's coated. Um, this is an air cooker cookie sheet. So it has like a little bit of air in it. 
Um, so I'm not going to put any parchment paper on it or um, any tin foil, but you can if you like that. I'd prefer to just oil it. And then it makes these, from my experience yesterday, testing these cookies, uh, it makes this delicious crumb <laughs> that sits on the cookie sheet. That I'm going to say might be as good or better than the cookie but I don't want to oversell it. Okay, so cookie sheets are oiled. They are ready to go. Okay, so next up, we're gonna do our little like butter sugar cream. So um, we're gonna put in a mixing bowl. Well, first we'll do our, our dry ingredients. We wanna save a bigger mixing bowl if you have two. Save your bigger mixing bowl for your butter. Um, your smaller mixing bowl, you're gonna add your, uh, your flour, baking soda, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So flour is two cups. I'm using a gluten-free flour. I like this kind. It's one-to-one, -one, so you don't really have to think about it. Now, you have to measure it the same, though. You want, like, a fluffy, fluffy scoop. Um, how's your chili looking, Dustin? Did we lose Dustin? No. No, 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 no. I had it. I had a mute. Um, I think it's Ew. pretty good. So I have my beads in there. I have my bra. Anything else I need to add in there? No, you just put that lid on and let it simmer. That lid. Oh, man. Kaylin, I know I told you we'd make that 7 p.m. deadline, but I don't know if we're going to do it. We'll get close. We will get close, my friend. Okay. One cup. Are you keeping that on medium, by the way? Uh, I went down to or simmer. High. Down Just to simmer. simmer. Yeah, low. Just because we're, we're kind of walking away for a while here. And you don't want it to boil. Okay, that, favorite... Yeah, I, I know. Favorite chili toppings. Dustin, what are yours? I love... I, I honestly think I'm glad we have cilantro. I don't think you could go wrong with cilantro. Cilantro could go Great. on anything in that opinion. Agree. With cilantro and onion, that combination. I know. Really? I've been pick I've been doing like a home onion pickle, which I gotta tell you, a quick pickle, you can't go wrong. Okay, so two cups of flour. Then we want our baking soda. And I have like a Trader Joe baking soda here. We want one teaspoon of baking soda. Uh, for some reason I only have a half teaspoon. <laughs> I can't find my full teaspoon. So I just have to keep that in mind. But one teaspoon of baking soda. And with your dry ingredients, so easy. Um, and then one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon is our next big add. Okay. Ooh. Look at you. You're just so domestic. You're so, you've got skills. I Let me tell you what. I don't think that I was great at cooking before coat well no that's probably not true I like but I like to cook now like I didn't really like it before you know what I mean yeah now you like it it's a yeah I can't wait till I can find that like if I'm cooking like something like this or we're friends I think it's fun yeah but for myself not so much maybe if I get a white one day maybe I'll enjoy it that it helps it helps because my it's somebody to enjoy it with me. Cause I mean, like I like when I make delicious food, but it's also really nice for the hubs <laughs> when I make delicious food too. Cause it, that's someone to impress. For sure. Okay, so we got our dry ingredients. I'm just gonna give them like a quick, you wanna incorporate them as you were. Make them stir. We're gonna be so close to getting these in the oven on time. And then we'll, we'll go over by like 10 minutes. So you guys can ask Dustin questions. Yeah, I um, love questions. Who doesn't? I hope they're good ones too. I hope, start, guys, start thinking of some good questions to ask me. Who does your hair? My hair? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not a real question. Oh. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to put in a separate bowl. I'm just being a jerk. We're going to put... Uh, half a cup of butter, which is also known as a full stick of butter, um, also known as a full stick of delicious. So we've got butter in a bowl, and then we want brown sugar in this bowl. 
Did you learn how to pack brown sugar when you were in high school? I did not. Okay, so there's a, a method. So you measure brown sugar differently than you measure regular sugar or even flour. You want, you want it packed. So like when you put it in your measuring cup, you want to like pack it down. Okay. And that's how recipes are made with the packed brown sugar. So if you don't pack it, you won't have enough. Learn something new every day. I know. I never forgot that in high school. I also never forgot how to make orange Julius. Did you guys learn? Did you learn how to make orange Julius in high school home ec? I was never in home ec, really. Well, what? no, I, never I was. Know. I'm sorry, okay. I was. I was in the freshman year. We made biscuits. That's the only thing I can remember making, really, biscuits. I made. I remember biscuits, too. So. I don't remember okay. anything else. I'm making a mess. Okay, we've got my butter. I'm butter. making a mess, too. I, I know. Well, it's, it's hard to mess. really. <laughs> okay, butter. I should have took a photo. Actually, you guys would have had a laugh. Mm. Oh. Okay, so once the butter and the sugar are together, take a fork or however you want to kind of cream these two together. What you want is the two ingredients to come together. If your butter was not soft yet, like if you didn't leave it out at room temperature. I should have told you this before, <laughs> before I had you put it in a bowl, but what you could do is microwave it a little bit. <laughs> Carly, we've got, some, we've got some real jokesters in the comments here in the chat. What are they saying? Hold on. Well, I think that uh, the people are bullying Eva, but Eva is standing up for herself, so that's good. Oh, Eva, good for you, Eva. Eva. What are they Eva, saying about Eva? Well, first of all, they probably said that she is so smart and fantastic. So smart, fantastic. Fantastic. Beautiful. Rebecca came to her aid though too. Rebecca, that's good citizenship right there. Okay, so I've got on my end here, I've got my dry ingredients in one bowl. I've got my wedding, my butter and brown sugar coming together. New comment, let's see. You're welcome, Eva. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so now we wanna add egg and molasses to this uh, wet stuff bowl um, and pumpkin milk and vanilla. So this is when we kind of get serious. Um, so it's just one egg. Things are getting serious, guys. Things are getting pretty serious. I'm gonna crack it over the bowl because again, I like to live on the edge. Um, and I can, <laughs> I'm pretty good at fishing out eggshells at this point. Okay, so we've got one egg in there. We wanna add our quarter cup of molasses. Let me make sure I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. Quarter cup molasses. Molasses is like the grossest thing to taste by itself, in my opinion. If you agree with me, let me know. Um, but in recipes, it is delicious. And I don't understand. I think by itself, it is very bad. You know what? I think I'm going to get you on an episode of Herd Chef. Really? You're, you should. I can see you having your own cooking like segments and stuff. You're pretty good. This is like coming very natural to you. I mean, I've been waiting my whole life for this. We should. We should do a Thanksgiving one. <gasps> Tell you what, we could do like gluten-free Thanksgiving. What do you guys want to see us make? Rebecca will be there. Caitlin will be there. Erica will be there. My mom will definitely show up. That'll be good because, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people won't be with their, their whole families this year. So that could be something oh, cool to do. That's heartwarming. Okay, I'm there. Sold. Okay, so we've got, and this is basically a recipe that stole my mom. Wait, tell me Claire from Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit. Um, okay. So we want, we also want to make sure our, our pumpkin puree is in here. I have a can that's open, but I'm, it's not a full cup because I made these yesterday. So I'm going to open a new can. Out comes our best friend, can opener. I almost tipped this bowl over, which would have been a K disaster. Okay, so we want a cup of pumpkin. I'm just going to dirty another spoon. Why not? Um, and if you mingle it with flour, who cares? It'll be fine. That's a good setup too. I can see it much better on my laptop than on my phone. It's you much, can? Yeah. 
Wait, Dustin, where's your dog? Oh, your dog's at your house. Yeah. She's sleeping. Or she would be right next to me getting all these crumbs on the ground. I know. <laughs> Maverick the dog waits uh, for a few things. One of those is sweet potatoes. Yeah. Um, okay, so we've got... Hope he loves vegetables. I you know. Maverick does too. Which makes me feel like I should... Like, I feel like dog food should have more vegetables in it. Yeah, I think they can have vegetables. I mean, those are yeah. great treats, right? You don't have to buy yeah. all these crazy dog treats. Just give them vegetables. Right. I totally agree. Okay, we need a third cup milk and a teaspoon vanilla extract. And then we've got it. We did it. We still have to add, you know, like our, our, uh, no, we did it. We already did it. I was like, where's our cinnamon? But we already did that. Okay, good. <sighs> Crushing it. Okay, I'm going to do a teaspoon. Only have this half teaspoon measurement, but whatever. Measuring over the bowl like a total lunatic. And then third cup milk. And then that's all of our wet ingredients. I know we went over. I totally lied to you guys. Sarah's here. Okay, guys, how are we doing at home on our cookies? Talk to us. Are you, are you absolutely crushing your cookies? Smells very good. I know. So the chili should be filling your whole kitchen up with just the most miraculous smell. And then mm -hmm. I'm measuring over the bowl again. And then these cookies should start to kind of smell like very seasonal, I think, in my opinion. The most seasonal. Okay. So now you've got all your wet ingredients in one bowl. I'm gonna go, I'm forking it for now, but which if you watch The Good Place, you know what I'm really saying, but I'm gonna go whisk from here on out. So I've got this whisk that I really love. It has like a Teflon coating on the outside. So nothing sticks to it. Okay. So once your wet ingredients are all incorporated, they can be a, a little lumpy, that's okay. You wanna, Carefully and slowly add your dry ingredients to it. How are you doing, Dustin? Oh, I'm doing good. You ready for that wet dry combo? Yep. Okay, I'll go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna do it. Here it goes. Until they're totally incorporated. Ooh. And then we're basically ready to cook. So that was big. That was really on the wild side. I left something open, my fridge. Do your appliances beep? <laughs> I feel like they're very, they're nagging me. Who's nagging you? My appliances. I leave them open and they beep oh. at me. Yeah. Okay, Dustin, how's your kitchen smelling? It's smelling good. I think I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit though. Go crazy. It's your chili. You can do whatever you want. Let's turn it up. Okay, so as soon as your chili's been cooking for like, oh, I know mine does too. If it's been cooking for about 25 minutes, you can consider it probably done and maybe give your, uh, your butternut squash, your pumpkin, your um, acorn squash, whatever. Um, wait, hold on. <laughs> What's going on? What's here? Oh, we did sweet potatoes and they were good or bad? Who made sweet potato cookies? Kayla, okay. Sorry, God, got really off track there. Okay, so cookie mix <laughs> is done. Our oven's preheated, our chili is rocking. I'm gonna turn mine all the way down. Unmess my kitchen so you guys can see the, the actual scoop. And this is the fun part. Well, I think every part's the fun part, but this is the next fun part. We've got pan, it's already oiled. Oh, your chili's ready? I can't wait to hear if it's good. So here's what I would recommend for your chili. Once you try it, don't treat it like it's done. Treat it like something you can just kind of play around with, like add some lime to it, go crazy. Okay, Dustin, can I see your cookies? Where's our friend, Dustin? We lost him, okay. While Dustin unmutes himself, I'm gonna show you guys the cookie throwdown. Did we lose you? Okay, cookie time, cookie o'clock. 
So this part, it's just pretty easy. You just wanna do like a heaping spoonful, a teaspoon. So your smaller spoon in the kitchen and then do like, I don't know, 12 on a sheet pan. They really can be as simple as that. And this dough mixture is kind of like bready, um, which is why it's so good for these ice cream cookies that we're making with Nix. I chose vanilla Nix, I'll show you in a minute, the final product, but I chose vanilla Nix because I just think it's very fall, very classic. It could be a good dessert for, I don't know, your friends giving over Zoom, your Monday night, whatever's happening. But I'll get these on a pan so that we can talk. So you're spooning them, going great. They don't all have to look the same. Don't the bears play tonight? <laughs> yeah, they probably do. That's right. Oh, that's probably why my husband's like looming around. <laughs> oh yeah, he's definitely, I don't know if they're playing yet. They're playing they the Rams, playing. right? I'm, Should be maybe. playing LA. Justin, what time do the bears play? Oh, in a couple minutes. <laughs> Ooh, almost just in time. A couple minutes. That's why, that's why he's lurking. Don't worry, we're almost done, Justin. Okay. Big day for LA, for LA sports right now. What's happening in LA? Well, you got the Rams playing and also the Dodgers in the World Series. Oh yeah, yes, of course. I knew that the World Series would happen. Dang. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm panning up my second pan. And then you're gonna cook, when you cook your cookies, so the recipe card I sent you guys and the one that's in the in the um, chat has us cooking these for about 12 minutes, but every, as you know, every oven is different. Every preference is different. I'm gonna cook mine a little longer today. I'm gonna do like 13 minutes for good luck. They were, they were soft yesterday, but I think they probably could have done, stood like one more minute. And then we're gonna make some ice cream sandwiches. All right, my cookies are going in the oven. Cookies in. Dustin, where are your cookies at? For the chili? Um, if, it <laughs> little, if it looks a little soupy, yeah. Um, what should I do? Show me it. Show us your chili. Pick up that laptop. Okay. All right. Everyone's like, ugh. I don't know if anyone's saying ugh. Oh, I think that looks great. Sure. Yeah, let me, let me spotlight it. Here's a, here are a couple things you could do. You could either okay. A, cook it longer so it cooks down. B, add more beans. Um, okay. Or, or C, just eat it. <laughs> I'll, let it I'll let it cook a little bit longer. Um, I have no more beans. You gave me all your beans. I did. I, mean, I, I gave you two cans of beans. I used all the beans. Okay, cool. And you drained all the liquid? Yep. All right. You crushed it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the finished product for the, uh, the NYX ice cream cookie sandwiches. This Better For You ice cream is honestly the only creamy good for you ice cream I have ever had in my life, which is why A Sweat Life does all, all of the things with which, NYX. Which ice cream are you going to use? I'm using vanilla. I just think it's it's, it's a good vanilla. It's like a classic vanilla and it tastes really good with this pumpkin, in my opinion. Which one did you, are you using? Oops, well, that's a mistake. <laughs> Lost the ice cream. There's more, don't worry. Was okay. only one second on the floor. I know, I could have saved it. Yeah. I could have saved it. But I, know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be that person. It was a toss up though between the peanut butter though too. Peanut butter oh. cup. I feel like that would have been good. Actually, it's gonna be fun. 
I think honestly, any anything that's got kind of that milder or fall flavor would be great with this. So final product, you just go two cookies. I really and... like the, the, car, the coffee caramel too. That's really good. Oh my God. That, so that was Erica's favorite. She was suggesting coffee caramel. Would you call it a pumpkin latte? Yeah, it would be like a little pumpkin spice latte sandwich with the pumpkin cookies. But I honestly, I think any flavor would probably yeah. go. Coffee caramel will have a nice buttery flavor in the new version. Mm. I just changed it. Mm. Well, they're all going to be creamier and more buttery. You're going to love it. I can't wait. Yeah, for, for everyone on this call, you're getting a nice little uh, in, like look into the future. Nick has given some stuff away for things we're working on. So Ooh, I know he's telling some secrets. You like my outfit, Kelly? Thank you. I'm a Skeletor. Okay, so anyone who wants to ask a question to Dustin, to Nick, to Skeletor, to Maverick, yes. the dog. Yeah, let's ask some questions. Get some good ask ones in there. See, I screamed down, I know, Caitlin. Cornstarch for the soupy chili. That could work, Megan. Dustin, if you want to add cornstarch to chili, I could give Ooh. it a little thickness. Oh, okay, we've got a question from Eva. I think there is a painting of you with a nose ring. Do you have, Dustin, would you well, consider I, getting a nose ring? He has one. I have a nose ring. <laughs> Your dream came true, Eva. I wanted to be more like Lenny Kravitz back in the day. So I got it like four years ago. Mm. It's, a good, it's a good role model. Okay, so he's I hope cool, you guys- he's a, cool, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's cool, he's cool. Let's see what else. Theoretically, oh, we got another question. Just Eva likes it. Okay, how has your life changed since The Bachelorette? Rebecca wants to know. For sure. Um, I think I'm almost like that. It's changed for sure. You know, um, a lot more opportunities have came my way. Um, and I think that's the main thing. Um, just opportunities that might have not uh, came to me otherwise, but opportunities are number one, you know, I'm able to do things I love now. Like I'm trying to start my own cooking TV show. Uh, I love to travel. I have more free time to volunteer. Um, so I have nothing negative to take away from the show. And yeah, it's given me a lot of opportunities. Got dumped, still love life. There we go. Yeah. Um, okay, we've got a question from Kaylin. Where'd you get your awesome apron? So I had this made. Um, actually, I got the aprons off Amazon. So if you want the, these Amazon, I mean, if you want these aprons, they're on Amazon. But I had the stitching um, made by a buddy. But mm. yeah, go get them Amazon though. Or make one for your mom or for yourself for the holiday season. Okay, yeah. Dustin, what has been the biggest thing you learned about yourself being on reality TV? Oh, that's a good one. So being on reality TV, The Bachelor, Bachelorette, it was really straining on my mental health, I felt like. Mm. And from coming, going in there, um, you really learn to open up. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going, you're, you're talking to producers all day and like, um, it's kind of like therapy almost, you know? So I will, I've learned to be more open, be, you know, just open up and tell my true feelings on how I feel. It doesn't matter um, in any kind of situation, just be real and just let your feelings out. Yeah. Friends, oh, wow. loved one, whoever it may be. Yeah. Do you feel like that, that has changed how you date now? Like, are, do people expect that you're like, ready to get married like tomorrow i think so i think i'm always ready to get married but You're to crazy. the right person it's got to be the right person um but if the opportunity i meet the right girl she knocks me off my feet i'm definitely ready to take those steps but um yeah i think doing the shows made me i mean i think it's taught me lessons and taught me a lot about myself and which I could be a better person to wear when I do want to date someone or I date someone, I'm, I could give them the best of me. And yeah, I think it definitely helped. 
all all here for the right reason. Okay, so cookies, we've got about five minutes. Um, we'll add. We're gonna make one my more sandwich real quick. Our Ooh, make your Sammy. Ice cream Sammy. That's the most flavor you're going with. Yeah. Uh, actually, we went back. We're going with the peanut butter cup nice. or peanut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Personal favorite. Yeah. Say it in the Swedish. How do you say it? How do you, Nick? How do you say it in uh, Swedish? <laughs> they faked it. It's yogurtnötter in Swedish. In it's Norwegian, what? it's pianötter. It's a peanut mm. in Norwegian is pianöt. 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 Yeah, but so this tough. Norwegian. I mean, this uh, this marketing world is so much fake in it. You know. <laughs> How dare they! How the the fine people of Norway, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're idiots, but you know, Norway, <laughs> Norwegians and Swedes have this little rivalry. They can't do right, just so you know. But yeah, <laughs> we're always it's funny. Oh, that's so funny. Um, it's like you know, I'm from Minnesota, and we have a real rivalry with Wisconsin. Minnesota, eh? Yeah, let's Don't you know? I worked really very hard to get rid of that accent. Um, that was pretty good fake, though. Don't you know? I have a question, Dustin. Did you catch the um, Did you catch the acting bug being on it? Like, do you want to act? Is that ever in your future? Um, I don't think I would be a good actor. Mm. Um, but if the opportunity presented itself, it's not like a strong passion of mine. But if the opportunity mm -hmm. came along, why not? Yeah, I would do it. Why not? Why not? We should all put, ooh, yes. Yeah. That looks yeah. Good. Okay, we've got three minutes. Uh-oh, three, we got three minutes on the cookies. He's gotta take his Invisalign out. Not Invisalign, the other one. Uniform teeth. Yeah, there we go. I was like, I don't wanna spawn that's, con this wrong for you. That's the worst thing about having the liners is I'm a picky eater. I can mm. eat 24 seven and it's really stopped me just from like nitpicking and whatnot. Oh, Eva had a question for me. Gina, have you ever been an English teacher? No, that's interesting. Why do you ask? You should be a home ec teacher. <laughs> I can teach a lot of things. Um, I have the vibe, I've given off the vibe. Here's it, I do, I would love to be a talk show host. Um, I do think that um, in a past life, I def so I studied journalism in college and I like, I like to like talk to people. So that might be where that's coming from. I enjoy talking. Okay, how's your cookie? It's delicious. Oh my delicious. gosh. Delicious. Okay, so at home in, I, these pumpkin cookies are really something. In two and a half-ish minutes when your cookies get done, I want to, I know, good. so good. I want to implore you at home to let your cookies cool before you put the ice cream on them. I know it's going to be so tempting to just do it right away, but it is worth the wait. I, I like uh, it. I like it warm. I know. I know. I like but then that, I like, like that like, contrast, warm and cold. Mm. Do you? Okay. Do you? Do you? Um, <laughs> so with, with, let's say a minute to go, you guys can ask, one more question of Dustin. Make sure you take your cookies out at home. Um, but I don't want to keep you guys past the Bears game, which is the thing that's happening in my house. You should be a talk host. I mean, talk show host. Would you be my first guest? Absolutely. 100%. Okay. Well, I think it would have to be you, Nick, and Erica based on this based on this show. Noelle, who else is with you? Who's, who else is enjoying your, your chili with you, Noelle? I gotta know. Oh, I'm gonna answer Melissa's question. Oh, Megan has a question. But first I'm gonna, an I'll answer Melissa's question. So Melissa, vegetable broth is so stinking easy. You just save, I do it like once a week. I just save scraps from things I have cooked. So it's like the ends, the stems, the seeds, uh, whatever from vegetables. And then you just put it in a big stock pot, kind of like whatever you're using for chili or maybe a little bit bigger um, and then cover that stuff with water and let it simmer for 
a couple, a couple of hours. And then by the end of it, um, you should have like a pretty delicious vegetable stock. I like to, um, load it up with ginger and garlic though, just so it's super tasty. Okay. This question is for Dustin. Um, oh, your grandma. Okay. Dustin, would you rather fight an army of horse-sized ducks or duck-sized horses? Okay. Wait. So an army of duck-sized horse. Wait, what? I'm slow. Horse, confused. either a horse size, an army of horse sized ducks. So very big ducks or very small horses. Which one would I rather eat? No, don't eat either. Which, which one would you rather fight? Oh, fight. Oh, a big duck would be terrible. Actually, the, the small horses, because ducks can yeah. be mean. Yeah. Ducks <gasps> and geese. They're mean. I agree. Giant ducks, terrifying. Whew. Terrifying. Okay. I said, which okay, one might be? <laughs> also, I want to tell people too, um, if you have me on Instagram, tag me in your soup and your sandwich. I'll repost it for you. Yes, please. Uh, so the world can see what we did today. <laughs> they need to know. Okay, guys, pull your cookies out. Um, if Turn your chili off, pull your cookies out. It's time to plate. Make your dessert after those cookies cool and have the best dinner. Um, take yourself off mute if you want to you know, tell us whatever, but it has been so delightful to cook with you guys. It's been so fun. Hey, Gina, how long do we cook the cookies for? Oh, cookies, you want to cook those for like 12 to 14 minutes. It's in, let me make sure you have that recipe too. Um, I'll show you my skeleton. Oh, um, I definitely do have it, sorry. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't you say sorry. Recipes are hard. Cook those cookies 12-ish minutes. You're going to love these cookies. Kaylin, it was so fun. Megan, so fun. Eva, so fun. Noel, so fun. Everybody, so fun. Carly, Amanda, Melissa, Alex. Thanks for joining us. Dustin, any parting thoughts? Um, thank you, guys. Um, no one burnt down their kitchen, right? Everyone's I don't think so. <laughs> uh, thank you, guys, all. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Sweat Life. Thank you, Nick. Again, for sponsoring this, this has been awesome. This has been an awesome experience. Um, I now know how to cook veggie chili and I am forever grateful it. for it. I have to do this all the time now. Amazing. Nick, Erica, any parting thoughts from Nick? Oh, maybe my, my grandma had one heck of a recipe for cookies and uh, taking out all the sugar from that. Maybe I can share that with you guys. Oh, do it. And but while you're doing that, all right. Thanks, guys.